We are gathered here today for my first Sonic offerings in over two decades. Let us liberate these humble sacrifices. Behold, the first offering. Got a thank you and catalog from Sweetwater. I yeah, really appreciate the high-end bubble wrap. Let's see what comes in this box. Ooh, we got a thank you of candy. Wow, big box with lots of padding for two microphone stands. Awesome. The first box is opened. It is the most glorious offering. Now that I know that first box contained two mic stands, this is going to be everything else to set up the home recording studio. It's a big occasion for me. I've been waiting more than half my life for this equipment. Oh. This is awesome. Behold, my home recording studio in a box. Let's see what's in the box. First up is the MXL 990 Condenser Microphone Recording Kit. So excited to use this for audio as well as recording my acoustic guitar. I live in a house with a bunch of mean, grumpy women. They do not appreciate my sonic brilliance. So I have bought Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones so that I might practice and record in quiet and be left undisturbed. Pop filter for the MXL 990. The standard amp recording microphone, the Shure SM57. No surprise to anyone, but this was the first choice on my list as a beginner home recording studio setup. These are not for the home recording studio. These are for the forthcoming renaissance of my Epiphone Les Paul. That's a 1994 that I got for my 17th birthday. It's really time to upgrade and modernize it. Desperately needs new tuning machines. I also ordered new pickups to get as close as possible to the tones of Stone Gossard's Les Paul on 10. Coming up towards the end of this haul, there may or may not be a brand new electric guitar revealed. If you're gonna invest in a premium dream guitar, you gotta have the right cables. So I went with the Mogami Gold. Nothing but the best for my two new Fenders, and I hope the gods are pleased with this sacrifice. More cables. Lots of cables for connection. Also wanted to make sure I future-proof and added extender cables as well. I do have a little cupboard under the stairs in the back corner of the basement where I'm going to do vocal recording once I get to that stage. Aw, the kitty. We are now ready for the main event. Cannot set up a home recording studio without an audio interface. After researching for months, I decided to invest a little more in order to have a future-proof system for once the humbler comes with his drums. Behold, my first audio interface. I stopped creating for two decades and it wounded my soul. I lost my sonic honor in opening this box is my first step to officially reclaiming it, as well as my soul. May I present to you the most glorious Focusrite Scarlet 18i20. Please honor the gods by subscribing to the Sonic Offering. I'm gonna do a full unboxing setup review but it's gonna to be totally different than the hundreds of others you've seen on YouTube because I'm doing it from the perspective of a dude who doesn't know what he's doing. I really don't know how to set this up, don't know how it works yet other than YouTube videos and research I've done, but I love it. I love that I don't know and that I'm gonna challenge myself to learn something new and develop a skill set that I've pined for for over half my life. This is a legit emotional moment. I feel like I'm giving birth. <laughs> oh, it's an orange. Slap it on the ass for good luck. The gods demanded a most worthy shrine for my guitars. I had a vision in my mind and when I was searching on Sweetwater, as soon as I saw this, it was as if it came to life and I manifested it through the power of the universe itself. Let us open it as it shall keep my guitars safe and display them proudly. Behold its vintage tweed glory. The gods must be most pleased with this offering. It is a glorious sacrifice. It shall keep my guitars safe and display them with honor. Holy cow, does that scream gods of rock to me. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. It looks like this classic tweed retro case. This is the 70s gods of rock vibe. It is glorious. Only one offering remains, I promise you. 
As amazing as this has been to this point, just like Vanessa Williams, I saved the best for last. This arrived on Tuesday. It is now Saturday evening. We are well past the 24-hour waiting period. It's a big moment for me. It's an iconic guitar from a 90s grunge icon who heavily influenced my playing. Something I didn't think was possible to own. Behold, this Sonic offering. Big shipping case had another protective case inside of it. Let us liberate this guitar. <laughs> oh, this is the coolest case I've ever seen. This shiny silver Fender logo is incredible against the black finish with the white piping around the sides. Dig the retro vibe of this case, man. It is most worthy of the guitar it holds inside. I still can't believe this is mine. I feel like James Bond here, man. Check out how cool this is. Dude, my eyes are about to lay upon this glorious offering for the first time, and a childhood dream is about to come true. I may I present to you? Oh my god. Holy shit, that is fucking awesome. Oh my fucking god. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, the finish. Pick guard. All the custom work on it. The bridge. Oh. I hope the gods are pleased with this humble sacrifice. Please honor the gods by subscribing to Sonic Offering and also to see the full unboxing experience video. I'm so excited to share all this with everyone.